Hey, what's going on there everyone? That's Striker here and uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of a different avenue than my typical plugin showcases. We're actually going to be reviewing and showcasing this billing module that is working with a pterodactyl panel. And if you guys don't know what pterodactyl panel is, it's a great free and open source software that allows you to basically host Minecraft servers, game servers, uh, quite a bit of various servers that you basically your heart desires which is pretty cool so what this building module does it is a paid add-on and it allows pretty much any ordinary person to make their own hosting company and create game servers all through this beautiful ui and has a full payment and technical capability which is fantastic so it's kind of an all-inclusive module and i highly recommend it and we're gonna showcase and kind of briefly explain how this all works so let's go ahead and get right into it so I'm going to be quickly going over this front page panel real quick, kind of a, a welcome portal, and then we'll go into installing and then getting everything set up. So when you set it up, this is what you're greeted with, a very nice home uh, panel screen, basically a welcome uh, portal here. And so I love this. It's very nicely laid out and customized and even has uh, the switch mode, which is pretty cool. You can go the dark mode or light mode. Uh, obviously, I do like the dark mode, but you can swap it up here, which is pretty cool. And I love the animations here. Yeah, it basically pops out kind of very lively of a website. And all this is fully customizable, which is fantastic. You have your stats here. And almost any website that you go to that has like a Minecraft hosting uh, it has a very similar layout to this, which is pretty cool. As I said, it is all built into this very front facing uh, panel here. And I love these images. You can basically get a preview of what your panel is going to look like. And so this is what the add on does change show it has a very nice theme already built into it as well as some custom modules and we'll get into all that later and then here we have some very nice animations color changing it gives you all the different features that it already has so you know your plugin manager which is very very helpful user management all the basic stuff through pterodactyl panel and so here is where you get to the core stuff so this is like your different plans so here you have your minecraft plans and rust so if we go to our minecraft plans as you see here is the different tiers laid out and you can actually add this to the cart you can see all the different setup that you can do and what you get and all the different specs for each different server so as i said guys all this is basically laid out by default and then you can just go in and customize it through the admin side and of course you do have your rest plans right here your standard all that good stuff say someone actually wants to buy this so they can actually click add a cart it will take them to the login page and here which is pretty cool you can actually create your own account so you essentially register here you can put in your email address username first name last name and you can register and then that will actually take you inside the panel so let's go ahead and do this real quick i'll make an account and then we'll get started so once the new user has registered and logged in this is what they're going to be seeing and of course they'll see the side here and that is where they're going to be actually to buy the specific minecraft plans or whatever game server that you have so here we have the billing module and this is where you can select whatever plan the balance is where you're going to be uh, the players are actually going to be adding specific balances so i have added 25 euros to my specific balance and this is how players are actually going to be able to buy the specific plans so as you can see in here uh, paypal you can put in uh, whatever the user wants to add let's do like you know like 15 dollars or something we'll click on the paypal button and once this is actually set up it will allow them to basically send money through the paypal which is pretty cool uh, this is just a test environment so it's not set up or configured properly but that is how users would actually be able to do that and then it would set their balance accordingly so you might notice this gift card section here as well which is pretty cool i love that this has already been implemented so of course with gift cards you can add more credits to your balance so say you're doing a giveaway some sort of holiday or something and you want to give out some gift card codes and so you can actually generate this on the admin side which i will go over all this here in a, a few minutes but for example here is the code that has been generated on the admin side and this is a gift card so currently we have a 21 25 and i believe this adds 20 more euros so there we go as you see it has now been updated so you can add gift cards that way as well and of course if the user needs to update some sort of billing information they can do it all right here but i really like this implementation 
implementation of the payment system all ready to go, which is built in and I love it. So let's keep moving right along here. So once they actually have the balance here, they can go to the billing section and we can see the Minecraft plans here. I really love this layout. It looks really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie. I love the specific front facing icons and I will actually leave a link to really nice icons. You can make it look really fancy up here. And then I love the icons and just emojis here on this side. It looks really, really nice. Very nicely laid out. Um, I love just how it makes it kind of feel alive uh, in other words and so very well done I really like this layout but let's say a user wants to buy the magma tier one they can click on this it will add it to the cart here we have our balance and they just click place order and making sure that they want to continue we'll hit confirm and that's actually going to buy the specific server so there as you see success our server has been created and now we can go to plans and so in here as you see <laughs> this looks really nice i love this so here we can have the settings so once we have this you can see pretty much everything with the settings so you can see server ip address cpu memory and storage and that looks fantastic and as you see our balance did go down so then they can see all the different things you know your cpu usage where is the invoices date um how many backups database and ports that they have which is really awesome here they can request uh, specific cancellations they can manage uh, the specific thing so this will actually take them to the server itself so i'm going to go back here a second so we can do a little bit more and of course this is where they can renew as well and we can see our specific settings here is what we can do for a subdomain which is pretty cool and this is actually a built-in feature to the billing module which is fantastic so uh, we can actually make a specific subdomain we'll just call it striker and we'll just confirm this here real quick and that should load up our subdomain and just like that our striker dot and then your domain name has been created so there we go that is working perfectly i love that and then here you can see the invoices here is the due date that we have so it's perfect and i don't know if you guys have noticed this but it does change where you can see the specific ip address and it will change to the subdomain uh, so that's actually really nice i love that feature uh, but here uh, you can see the invoices and then all the users will be saying hey when's the next due date and you can see it all right there which is fantastic so really love that and they can see all the different things within here and of course they can renew and of course just pay the button and you're good to go and so then if the users want to see the servers it's just like normal where you see the server you can go ahead and click on it and we can start this bad boy up so here we got 1.19 and it will most likely crash because we're only on uh, basically one gigabyte of ram there but essentially this is what the players will see a very nice ui they have the very latest uh build for pterodactyl where they can see the inbound outbound data which is really helpful and then your memory and cpu right along there so fantastic stuff i love this and of course one other feature within the billing module is a built-in plugin manager which is probably one of my favorite <laughs> so this has all the most up-to-date and most uh, like downloaded plugins all right here we got essentials luck perms via version vault all that great stuff and we can basically click install it's going to install it for us and get it set up and of course we can get multiverse core installed as well so if we go to our plugins file go to our plugins as you see there is our luck perms and multiverse core and you can manage this all within the file manager of course but i i absolutely love plugin installers it really does make installing plugins so much easier because it automatically grabs the latest which is really helpful and of course if you do manage to download something directly from somewhere else or github you can actually choose the manual upload and you can put it in there which is fantastic and of course you can find specific categories from the bungee spigot or bungee proxy itself let's do like tools and utilities from that specific category and you can see all the bungee stuff in here as well which is really helpful i really do like the various categories but let's go to our console and we'll go ahead and grab our specific ip and we'll actually use the custom subdomain that we made and we'll join the server 
So just making our subdomain does work. Our server is online. We can enter our striker.wemex.net. And there we go, already propagated. And let's go ahead and join this bad boy on paper 1.19. And there we go, we have successfully joined. Oh, that's a, that's a crazy spawn right on the edge there. But yeah, as you see guys, uh, the subdomain is working. We're on the server and that is perfect. So that is everything from the user experience. Everything is running perfectly. And now we can go ahead and mess around with some of the admin features.